Due to the Police Accountability Act, the Annapolis Police Department, along with other departments, are working on several things that will go into effect by the beginning of next month. We can't do our job unless we have the confidence uh, of the community. Edward Jackson is the chief of the Annapolis Police Department. Like all police departments in the state, it's working on several provisions in compliance with the Maryland Police Accountability Act. Jackson said that one of those provisions requires the department to create a user-friendly online portal where residents can file a complaint. So if a citizen doesn't want to come into the station, um, they can log on the portal and provide all the information and give a brief synopsis of what occurred and then it'll immediately go to the investigators and, and it'll be investigated. Another provision requires a yearly mental health evaluation for officers. Jackson says that some officers experience a lot of trauma and in some cases, excessive force could be a direct result of trauma gone unaddressed. When they respond to murders and rapes and child abuse and domestic violence and they just see the dark side of humanity consistently, then it's healthy for them to be able to check in to make sure that they are suitable and are able to go out and do their job without triggers that may cause rage or excessive force. He said that officers will also be required to undergo a yearly physical agility test. To, to make sure that officers are healthy, that they can run, that they can uh, lift, that they can restrain, um, that uh, they don't become victims. He said that making sure that officers are always physically healthy could go a long way on the job. I personally believe that uh, when you're physically strong and you're healthy uh, mentally, when you put those two together, you're less likely to engage in deadly force, you know, because you can use, when you're physically fit, you can find ways to de-escalate um, without having to go to a weapon. Chief Jackson said he's optimistic about the effects these provisions will have on the community. He said that it's all about building trust. Um, it'll forge better relationships, um, strengthen uh, uh, ties with the community, especially in communities that historically have had um, problems with police, um, neighborhoods that uh, there was distrust, if you will, for the police. I think that it'll help us um, partner with them so they can realize that we do want better policing. While the policies go into effect on July 1st, Annapolis police told me that their portal will launch on June 30th. In Annapolis, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.